You know, I always wondered what would happen when you take the best deck in history and mix it with the second best deck in history. Well, guess what? I just did. That's Patch of Zodiac. Let's go! It's a thing of beauty. I don't know why it took me this long to even play it But before we get into that I want to show you guys something absolutely broken and amazing That might just change the way you look at Yu-Gi-Oh forever the new official playmat release, baby Servant of Endymion now available on TriffGaming.com, boys Get your mat ASAP boys because we already released it on stream a few days ago I'm telling you guys it's gonna sell out soon. It's almost sold out after only a few days of release on stream and right after you buy that mat you guys gotta smash the subscribe button because we're almost at 30,000 subscribers 30,000 baby we did it we did it baby we're almost there almost there and after you hit the subscribe button after you get your beautiful play mat sit back and enjoy absolute greatness that you're about to witness pendulum zodiac let's go what is the synergy between pendulum and zodiac as you guys look at this hand, we have double tanky. Well, guess what? We are not only going to search a Zodiac Whiptail off the a tanky, right? But what is tanky? It's a continuous spell card. What deck right now in Yu-Gi-Oh? I want you guys to answer this before you guys witness the true greatness. What deck in Yu-Gi-Oh right now uh, gets to take advantage of arguably the best generic card in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, yeah, that's Pendulums that get to take advantage of Magician Souls more than any other deck in the planet. Not just because you play 3 Souls, not just because you play 6 Souls, but because you play 10 Magician Souls. Because you play 10 Magician Souls, you are now able to take advantage of Tanky and Barrage more so than anything. So you don't only get the classic Zodiac Dryden with followed up as many times as you want, but you also get to search souls, whether it be by Abductor, by Souls itself, by Tank, sorry, by, by Servant or by Mastery. And that's totaling 10 different Magician Souls for you. And you get to utilize Magician Souls in a crazy way. Because now with your Magician Souls, you get to uh, get rid of the Tanky and the Barrage for free. Absolutely amazing synergy there. And it gives you a whole nother play that isn't just Pendulum. So it kind of gives you like a third dimension of playing. Now, even if your opponent, the D Barrier is honestly going to be a real thing. I'm not even joking. But. It gives you way more options. You're way more three-dimensional. Your opponent's got to deal with this now. Going second, you guys. Uh, you're going to scare the anti-spell? No problem. Normal Sun Whip Tail, activate Dryden and Pop. It just gives you more synergy, kind of completes the deck a little. Gives the deck a little more push and up. Uh, and, and makes interruptions even easier to do. Uh, as you guys see here, I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. Thanks to all the plus. I want, you, I want you guys to see this. I didn't even Pendulum Summon yet. Look at this plus. Look at this plus. I didn't Pendulum Summon yet. I'm going to activate another Abductor by the Magister. Like this Magician Souls Turbo, it's definitely not a cheap deck. We even activate the souls yet for the tankies. You guys see that? Look at that hand now. Look how broken that is. Like the plus of Zodiac, uh, being able to take advantage of tanky and Barrage. Unfortunately, Barrage is only at one, but four cards that are a plus two. Because tanky and Barrage not only give you the whip tail, which gives you the whole Zodiac combo. It lets you out windows, it lets you out whatever problem you might have. It lets you out lots of stuff. And that the pendulum couldn't before, well, they could, could before, but makes it even easier. And pluses are a lot more. <laughs> so, talk about plusing for pendulums, which is a lot of problem without uh, some of the cards that got banned, Astro Cup, Iris, whatever. Now you can plus all you want. We have seven cards in hand and five cards up. We're at plus seven right now versus Salamangre and Shadal, which go plus one. <laughs> you didn't even pendulum summon yet, bro. This is insane. Like, we didn't even pendulum summon yet. We're going to do freely whatever on earth we want. We're going to do a big brain play here. We're going to activate Mighty Master of the Scale. Uh, we're going to pop the secrets that, set, that was set. I just didn't send it to the grave yet, so secrets are sent. Uh, utilizing Cross Sheep here, Vortex. Uh, summon out a free Blue Boy. Everyone should play Cross Sheep, by the way. I'm going to make a video on it in the future. Yeah, this is, the secrets are sent to the grave. Uh, let's look at this. A little uh, set. I just want to show you guys. Yeah, make the Selene. Uh, at that point, I realized that the secrets was there, so I sent the secrets from the original Mighty Master. Use Selene Effect. Uh, so free. I still didn't pendulum summon yet. Uh, here I'm weighing my options. There's so many options you could do here. But I'm like, I'm just going to Mascarena. I'm going to go into Anapalooza. And now I'm going to pendulum just one Mighty Master from extra deck and one uh, Whiptail. 
go into a double dry date, one on the air turn, one on your turn. You could also save the track of nine if you want for the following follow up. And yeah, look at that. It's just broken. Broken. Absolutely broken. Uh, your board of Appaloosa, Muddy Master, you could have done even a lot more if you wanted to, but you didn't want to clog your board. So this is this in itself is six uh, more than six interruptions. It's seven interruptions. I managed to be able to summon something back. Uh, people also don't realize which is a really cool play is that Mascarena can go into a uh, Celine if you really want to. So after a bunch of negates, you could also use Mascarena here to go after you waste your Appaloosa. Let's say you waste your Mighty Master. You can use the Mascarena, the Appaloosa, and the Mighty Master to go into another Celine to summon anything else from your grave. Another Mighty Master, Magister Effect will trigger. So uh, it is so many options, it's absolutely broken. Now I'm gonna show you guys a deck list for this deck. One Sir, one Master, one Flexion. Yep, Triple Abductor, Chrono Gaff. There's no Mythical Beast in this. Uh, and in this deck, uh, I feel the Mythical Beast is a full engine is good, but if you don't max out on the full engine of Mythical Beast, a multiple institution, mi mini jackal, it is not that good. Uh, I don't even play Cerberus in this. Whiptail accomplishes what Cerberus does for you with the Tanky and Barrages. Double Jack, Triple Master. It's an option to cut a Master, but eh, I have to keep it at three. Uh, as I said, you're playing 10 different magician souls. Three Abductor, three souls, three Mastery is nine, one Servant is 10. Uh, and two with tail, you have two blue boy, two secrets on knowledge. I, I tell you guys all the time, please play two blue boy. You need to. I played one for a long time and I keep missing it. There's lots of cool plays you could do that people don't realize. You could go blue boy, uh, search your secrets or knowledge. You can then actually go into Crowley and search another one as well. I just have one free plus one in your hand. It, Crowley's too damn good not to play two and two. If you were to draw double, you're not going to draw double blue boy. You'll draw one blue boy, one secrets. Hell yeah, you will. But that's totally fine. You just save your normal summon by that and save a free card for souls. I'm starting to the void. Triple Desires, uh, Triple Lord, Triple Mastery, and uh, three tanky, one barrage. If I could play three barrage, three tanky, I definitely would. Unfortunately, Konami did not allow that to happen for us. You want continuous spells. Uh, there's basically a lot of the times with Institution, you guys will find what Institution does a lot of the time. Institution will get you a... You won't even use Institution as a fact. A lot of the time, you're going to activate souls just to send the Institution to draw one. Not even utilizing the effect of Institution. That's where this idea came in. Where you could activate the Tenki, you could search your Whiptail, and then you could use souls to send it. So you're getting your free plus one. And then what Whiptail offers you is tremendous because it gives you a dry date for two turns. And on top of that, you could play more Zootia cards in the extra deck if you feel like it to actually dry date your own card turn one. And then Chakanine, Tiger, bring back the Dryden, put another Whiptail underneath the Dryden. You can do a lot more stuff after that. But I felt Extra Deck was a little too tight. But if you want to go that route and go Extreme Zodiac, you could also do that. Uh, but I felt this was just the best play. I don't do these decks for fun, for shits and gigs. I do it because I truly think that Zoo and Demian might be the best way to play in Demian. Because you're not breaking by this. It's also a great option if you want to add a tanky uh, Beast Warrior target for a scale. But I opted uh, not to complicate things. It's already great as it is. Uh, side deck. Uh, this is a side deck. You can change however you like. In fact, since Ad Emancipator, I think it'll be a good idea to put in Sphere Mode uh, in place of Mystic Mine. Uh, just in case. Uh, I feel like it's a, it's a good card uh, to have. Uh, after that, so extra deck 2 Selene. Uh, in this version, only 2 Selene because you have to make space for the Zodiacs. Uh, one uh, Crowley, one Daybreaker, one Cross Sheep, one Mascarena. Cross Sheep, guys, gotta make space for it. I've been preaching this, it's such an amazing card. Uh, Phoenix Unicorn, Brolzer, Appaloosa, Saryuja. Saryuja is also very important. Uh, sometimes your your board might just be like all over the place, and Saryuja kind of saves that. Uh, then we have also one Chaka Nine, one Dryden, one Absolute, one Vortex. Absolutely amazing deck. I'm a big fan of it. I will be playing this on stream a lot. Uh, today and tomorrow Absolutely great deck. So that's a video guys. I hope you enjoy the video If you guys got this far don't forget to smash the subscribe button Don't forget to go on patreon and sign up guys sign up for uh, Patreon membership it, It's an amazing membership. I do as much as I can to help train you guys to get better at pendulums There's only so much training you can do on YouTube without people getting bored some people just come on YouTube for like one minute to see my beautiful beard and then they leave. But for the people that actually don't care about my beard and or do, do care about my beard but more so want to learn how to play Pendulum properly, this is literally Pendulum education on the Patreon. I highly recommend it for anyone who wants to learn. Also check out the new Serpent Playmat which will only be available for a limited time. Get yours while you can. Smash the subscribe button boys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Later guys. Peace.